Okay, you want to make a shaft, you take a blank, this is a lump of maple, okay, first thing we do is cut it down to a sort of a tapered square, and now we're going to plane it. Get organised here. Mask. We'll check for straightness. If there's any bends, I shall plane them out. thing I'm doing is taking the corners off, keeping an eye on it. If it moves, which they do, adjust where you're playing in. Sometimes the shafts bend a lot, sometimes they stay fairly straight. This one is behaving itself. So I'll take the corners off the back, the corners all the way up. I'm going to try and bring this down a bit now. I'm going to leave it very oversized to allow the wood to move again. But um, yeah, I'll start up here. straightness there you go it's not bad at the same time this is when you start to find out if the, <coughs> if the wood's any good um, this looks quite clean looks like it might be a nice nice bit of maple this one Turning the wood constantly 
so that I'm, I'm getting it reasonably round as I go. Um, I'm making it look easy. It takes time, believe me. Anyway, we're getting quite close on this one. I'm going to take uh, not such a deep cut this time because I'm getting quite close to where I want it, which is at least three or four mil oversize. So. Now it's time to spin it round. I'm quite happy with my top half. So now I'm going to use the plane to kind of uh, guide me off of what I've done. The bottom end is, is well oversized, so I should be able to take all that out and keep the cue fairly straight. As you can see, I do keep stopping, I do keep looking at it. Um, if I see a, a, what appears to be a, a high point, I'm going to take that out first because each time you take plane it down, you know, the, the wood is, is wanting to move. So, Let's see. down to something that's approaching round and I've taken off every little high point that's when I'm going to reduce my cut on there and I'm try and do sort of longer sweeps feeding off the straight edges that I've already got so that the back's looking quite good now so I'm going to take it back round this is about 35 mil probably at least so there's loads of meat left in it so now a smaller cut, and I'm going to try and do longer strokes feeding off of this. And we should end up with something that's, uh, that's pretty straight.
think that'll do. Voila. There we go. That's a reasonably round shaft in the first stage of preparation. Like I say, that's about at least sort of three, four, five mil over size. Just just roughly. Now I'm gonna leave that for well as long as you can, weeks, months, just just put them to one side. Just see if they move and then they come back for the final shaping. And uh should be alright. It looks like quite a nice bit of making.